guys so your girl is wearing her polar fit watch and as you see this is going to be a cleaning video as you know your girl's back was hurting um the end of last week this is the weekend um well a couple days ago and i was just chilling relaxing as everyone requested that i do and people were getting on me so in the midst of relaxing mommy duties were not being kept up okay I didn't care what it looked like. Even y'all remember my nails. I wasn't even thinking about my nails or whatever. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, we have a situation, Houston. So, I'm going to show y'all the situation of what's going on. So, I have navy blue, gray, and white on my bed. I want y'all to tell me which one y'all like better because I'm going to switch it out and probably just do all white with the gray and remove the navy blue. Yeah, and just keep it a little bit more simple. I'm so ready to get, I love my headboard, but then I don't because it was damaged when I moved here. So I really want to get rid of it because it is kind of massive. And I just really want to make things more streamlined, more clean and minimal. So I'm thinking about getting rid of these um, lamps and um, getting them smaller lamps that I can kind of rotate to where I want them at. Where they'll like be placed like, I can probably put it like in this space right here through the wall and have an electrician put up and I can just kind of maneuver it. I'm thinking about that and then I'm also thinking about getting rid of these. Um, I was just in there looking at how disgusting it is. Yeah, not really bad, bad, but it's bad enough. Um, um, you guys know that I put my panties and stuff in here and yeah, I'm missing some socks, which yeah, my daughter. So, um, this is my little area for my socks and panties and stuff like that. So I'm like, hmm, if I get rid of these nightstands, it'll make it look even more spacious and, and this will take some of the bulk off and just get one stream, um, similar to what my mom-in-law has, we can build our own and I'll just get rid of the nightstands, build our own, just make them long and then it'll be open space where you can see the wall behind and keep the mirror and just build our own little boxes for um our nightstands to just streamline it y'all know we're going to build our own um sorry if this is too long but this is for people who are new to we're going to be building our own frame so i definitely would like to get rid of this headboard and just do something that because this is blocking most of the window that do something that's just a little bit lower probably like to where this is for me that would be fine um because this thing is tall it is like literally i don't know if y'all could tell but if i stand next to my bed this the headboard is really tall and y'all it's it's taller than me and i'm five seven so it's a really high headboard which is taking up a lot of light so yeah sorry for the rambling this is gonna be a speed clean so i'm gonna speed through this thing so fast anyway the video still ain't gonna be long so yeah um those are the things i'm thinking about doing so let me show you the disaster in this room okay let's see oh let's see the disaster look at resi in her room hi stink oh. <laughs> all right y'all look at the nightstand the bed i love my pillow i don't think i'll ever get rid of it it's so freaking comfortable and yeah my toothbrush <laughs> caddy um yeah i know i only do natural stuff when i do my toothbrush that's that full gray hydrogen peroxide and organic baking soda with no aluminum by bob mills and i have my robe that needs to be clean and then i took this from under the bed which is the whiter um shams that i want to replace the darker shams with this is the one i currently have mixed with the white on my bed um and i want to change it out and put the white and just white and gray and see how that looks in here so yep this is my jewelry on the floor my thing um that goes under the bed with my night clothes t-shirts and all that random stuff that's some jewelry that i want to um either repair or donate and yeah that's hubby's nightstand clothes need to be put up and then over here guys look at this look at this a mess clean clothes that need to be folded stuff that needs to be put on a hanger some items that need to be shipped out products and coffee and yeah my desk just looks a mess so let's just get cleaning let me open these windows cut the lights on and get cleaner <laughs> Got that soca plan. Ruby soca. Alright, y'all. <laughs> I said I 
always use my linen spray for after to give the room a good fresh smell. This for carpet freshener, which is majority baking soda. So I usually fill it up to like right about here with Arm & Hammer baking soda. And then the rest here I fill up to um, basically, not to, but I fill the rest up to the top. So that way um, I'm stretching my... You should see a video where I stretch the Arm & Hammer Carpet Fresh. Well, I stretch mine by using the real Arm & Hammer powder and then this much of the Carpet Fresh. So that way it lasts longer and it gives it a good fragrance. And it's crazy because this thing smells like it's nothing but the Carpet Fresh. That's how strong that stuff is. So you can stretch it by doing it this way instead of keep buying those containers. that's less than this for a dollar. And this is my DIY glass cleaner, which I also have that as um, a video that you can go check out. So you can see how I stretch the carpet fresh and you can also go see how I make my glass cleaner, mirror cleaner, you know, surface cleaner. So, all right, let's get cleaning. <music> that this was previously recorded is the fact that I still have the Contigo Blue water cup and uh, yeah I got rid of that took it back to Wegmans because it did not keep my water cold for long and it leaked so yeah that's why I went back 
and got a Ozark Trail um, water bottle and that's what I'm currently using so that's how you can see that this was a previously recorded video like I told you guys I got a lot of footage that I just didn't feel like editing as I feel like it I will edit as much as I can and get some of those videos out to you so it's not like wasted footage forgot to pan the room for you guys I so apologize but I hope you guys enjoyed this video right now I'm getting ready to start another video in this clip that you see here and I'm going to do an updated version of the Dollar Tree Space Saver bags and talk about why I love them so much and how to use them if you missed them miss my other video and I will load the other link to the other videos below I did that a couple years ago but thumbs up the video share the video and I will see you guys later Katers.